Good morning. Have you ever wondered how the climate at your place might be affected by phenomena occurring thousands of miles away? Slight changes in sea surface temperatures of even less than a degree in a small localized area of the vast ocean can altogether change how a season might look. Well, these are what in climate sciences we call climate teleconnections. Tele means remote, and connection refers to how these processes taking place in a faraway location link to our local climate. These form part of the natural periodic climate cycles that occur on Earth. Phenomena like these frequently affect places like Southeast Australia, which experiences a highly variable climate owing to influences from the oceans around it and the atmosphere above it. Temperature anomalies, of, temperature anomalies in certain regions of the Pacific Ocean, as well as the Indian Ocean, can either cause extreme rainfall so as to cause floods, or extreme deficits in rainfall so as to cause droughts. Understanding these linkages is what constitutes my research. What are the advantages of such a study? First, it's going to help climate scientists better understand the ocean atmospheric interactions, which are still in the process of being fully understood. Next, since we already know that there exists connection between these climate teleconnections and the local water cycle, a deeper understanding of these linkages can help us increase the skills of models that are forecasting rainfall, temperatures, stream flows. Any anomaly in these is what might possibly cause a drought. Therefore, a clear understanding of these teleconnections will also help us to deconstruct unambiguously the causes of many such droughts that have occurred in the past. My research in particular looks at the role that these climate teleconnections have played in some of the mega droughts that have occurred in Southeast Australia. I do this using mathematical techniques such as wavelet analysis. Further, through use of probability-based copulas, I estimate how likely are we to expect more such future events, given that the ocean and the atmosphere are undergoing continuous changes more rapidly than we expect. Southeast Australia recently underwent a devastating drought, which was not only record extreme in terms of its severity, but also in terms of its duration and impact. Understanding these linkages can help is not only of importance to the water, to, uh, for, for, for uh, devising future water policies in drought prone areas, but, it's, but is also very much in the interest of the economy and agriculture of this part of the region. While it might be true that all these climate teleconnections are not the only influential driving factors of droughts in this region, they certainly do hold key information which can be very crucial in not just reliably predicting droughts, but also mitigating them. Thank you.